This story is not just about investment information. It's about a company that, despite having unclear financials and unverified technologies, was listed on the NASDAQ and saw its stock price surge over 65% in just one day. A true anomaly shrouded in mystery. The company is BTQ Technologies. Headquartered in Vancouver, Canada, it claims to be a next-generation cybersecurity firm focused on post-quantum encryption, technologies designed to remain secure, even in an era dominated by quantum computing. Post-quantum encryption is a critical technology that aims to defend against the future threat of quantum computers, which can solve calculations in seconds that would take even the most advanced classical computers billions of years. This poses a major threat to today's internet security, financial networks, government systems, and blockchain infrastructures. BTQ Technologies positions itself as a leading name in this space, claiming to develop a suite of breakthrough technologies, including the cryptographic accelerator Cash, a quantum secure stablecoin network called QSSN, zero knowledge proof tools, and hardware security modules. But here's the strange part. None of these technologies have been independently verified. There are no benchmark results, no demo videos, and no confirmed commercial use cases. Normally, for a tech startup to gain market trust, it needs three things. First, verifiable technical validation by independent institutions. Second, real customers and sales performance. Third, a stable and transparent financial structure. BTQ Technologies, however, met none of these three conditions. Even so, on September 26, 2025, it was successfully listed on the NASDAQ. That same day, its stock price soared over 65% from the previous day's close. In typical cases, such a sharp rise would be driven by major capital injections, confirmed government contracts, or significant commercial deals with global players. But BTQ Technologies had no such foundation. At the time of listing, its quarterly revenue was approximately 650,000 Canadian dollars, with a net loss of about 4.6 million Canadian dollars its earnings per share were negative. By standard financial logic, uh, the stock's explosive growth and the company's successful listing appear difficult to explain. So what exactly was the market reacting to? What justified the premium that investors so readily gave this company? The clues may lie in the company's strategic timing of announcements and disclosures just before and after the listing. In particular, BTQ claimed that its QSSN technology was cited as a model example in the U.S. government's post-quantum financial infrastructure framework, PQFIF, a draft policy co-authored by the U.S. Treasury, Federal Reserve, and Securities and Exchange Commission. On the surface, this sounds like a major achievement. However, for investors, the key question is whether the technology was actually evaluated and selected by these institutions or merely mentioned among a range of speculative future use scenarios. In general, when a government document names a company's technology directly, it's because that technology has undergone testing or been officially reviewed. In this case, however, BTQ Technologies has not, has not provided any documentation explaining how its technology was included or evaluated. Moreover, the timing of this announcement was conspicuously close to the company's listing date. Afterward, online investor communities began to interpret the government mention as an implicit endorsement, further fueling stock price momentum. This pattern is highly irregular. Typically, when government reports cite specific technologies, they also release accompanying evaluations, trials, or performance reviews to back up that inclusion. BTQ Technologies provided none of these in critical details, such as how QSSN actually works, its transaction throughput, or its encryption strength, remain unavailable. Adding to the mystery, in June of the same year, the company announced a strategic partnership with QPerfect, a company working on neutral, atom-based quantum computing. This computing model is considered more scalable and stable compared to superconducting or ion trap methods. However, BTQ's announcement included no details about co-development schedules or technology transfers, only the fact of the partnership itself. All of BTQ's major announcements, its government citation, strategic alliances, and technology roadmap, have been carefully timed around market-moving events like its NASDAQ listing. This raises concerns that these releases are less about technological advancement and more about managing investor sentiment. As a result, despite a lack of demonstrable technology or revenue, 
BTQ Technologies is now being viewed by some as a potential leader in quantum cybersecurity. And this perception is directly reflected in its stock valuation. At this very moment, BTQ Technologies continues to release new roadmaps and partnership news. But as an investor, you must ask, does the technology exist? Has it been independently validated? Can it generate revenue? And most importantly, is the hype justified? BTQ Technologies may indeed be a technology company, but as of now, no one outside the company can confirm whether its technologies actually work. Its future lies somewhere between possibility and doubt, between hope and uncertainty. Dear listeners, Valuester welcomes your suggestions on listed, unlisted, or upcoming stock and crypto assets you find suspicious or interesting. Please leave a comment and we will investigate and analyze them in future episodes. This was Valuester.